Beautiful. We're ready. Welcome to a new episode of The Gathering Show. Today we are going to go over the quick quick news post that Wizards uh, put out earlier today in regards to the Jumpstart Historic Horizons Magic The Gathering Arena update. Um, for those of us that have been playing a lot of Arena and have been getting excited about all of the stuff that's going on and coming to Arena exclusively in this new set, um, we will have to wait a little bit longer because they are officially delaying the release of this set. Mm, unlike the card sets, which generally don't have a lot of issues in release schedules because, you know, manufacturing and promotion and stuff like that, they kind of have to stick to their schedules quite rigidly. This... These uh, Jumpstart Historic Horizon sets with the new cards that are going to be arena exclusive, that have digital only mechanics, um, they were able to delay this because it's a digital only product. They don't have to worry about printing and yada yada. I haven't read this yet, so we're going to go over the news, but I do know that it has to do with the back end changes they've been developing for arena. Without the, they've had to delay the update, um, the mechanical update to Arena. The song having words in it is messing with my brain. Um, so they've had to delay the update until the end of next month, which means that they have to delay Jumpstart because this Historic Horizon set has a lot of new things that rely on this uh, this update with the back and the changes coming to arena. So let's just read the article and then we'll talk about what this might mean. In our state of the game article for Jumpstart Historic Horizons, we shared that we're working on a large change to some of our back end systems. As we've continued iterating and testing those changes, we've decided that we need a bit more time to get them ready for release. Unfortunately, the release of Jumpstart Historic Horizons is tied into this backend change, so we need to shift the release date for that as well. Again, because this is a digital-only product and a digital-only release, it's not going to change all that much. We, it'll be delayed and there'll be no repercussions. Um, there's a few changes that are coming later in the article that kind of are almost positive in a way. Um, okay, what's changing? The short version, we're moving everything out by two weeks. The release that was planned for August 10th, which is tomorrow, is now expected to arrive August 24th, with Jumpstart Historic Horizons now scheduled to release on the 26th. So previously, the plan was update Arena on the 10th, which is tomorrow, and then Historic Horizons was going to release on the 12th, so there's a two-day buffer there. Um, now they're moving the update to the 24th, and the Jumpstart launch uh, to the 26th, so they still have that two-day buffer. Uh, we also need to delay adding the new Historic Brawl queue update at this, until this update as well. But for players looking forward to that, we will be adding a Historic Brawl event with no entry fee on August 12th that will run until this queue is available. So for those that love Historic Brawl or Brawl events in general, this is great because there's just going to be a, a free to play uh, for fun event, which I'm sure is going to have some, some win cons, some prizes, um, and it'll be free until the 24th when the update happens and then they're going to do a historic brawl queue uh, with the new update. There are additional impacts here as well because Jumpstart Historic Horizons is now starting closer to Innistrad Midnight Hunt's launch on September 16th. So looking at the calendar again, we've got Arena update on the Tuesday the 24th. Jumpstart Historic Horizons launch on the 26th and then just uh, two weeks later one, two, three weeks later we have Innistrad Midnight Hunts launch on September 26th 
Now, if you're excited about Midnight Hunt, that's great. It's a paper and digital product. If you want to hear about some of the exciting things that they've announced already, I will link my to my video in the description of this one on YouTube. Um, and you can go over and, and watch some of the... Watch my video regarding the cards that they've revealed for Innistrad Midnight Hunt already. So we're extending... So because of the proximity between Jumpstart and Innistrad, we're extending the duration of Jumpstart Historic Horizons event to run until the 14th. So there's plenty of time to enjoy both sets. So before they were planning on having events in the game that were going to... Um... So because we, the original plan was this week we were going to get Jumpstart and then we were going to have over a month until September 16th to enjoy the new Jumpstart playlist, the new Jumpstart uh, historic brawl, get used to some of the new mechanics, collect as many Jumpstart cards as we can, and then they were going to switch over to Midnight Hunt because they always feature uh, the biggest, best um, set launch in Arena. And now, because there's a lot less time beforehand, they're going to do a bigger crossover. So they're not going to close out the Jumpstart Historic Horizons events in-game um, as quickly as they would. So they're both going to be running at the same time for about a month. And then a month after that... So for the month of September 16th till October 14th, we're going to have both. And then, for a month from October 14th until November, we're just going to have Midnight Hunt. And then, um, uh, after a month, so in November, we're going to get the next Innistrad release, which is Crimson Vow. So everything will switch over to um, a dual Innistrad event. I'm assuming that they're not going to take away the Midnight Hunt stuff when Crimson Vow comes out. So another big update is to ranked play. Part of the state of the game, talking and revealing Jumpstart, was that August was going to be split into two seasons. Uh, with the shift release date, we are updating the plan as well. August 2021 season is underway now through August 24th. And the September 21 season will run from the 24th till the September 30th. So, they initially planned and announced this as two August seasons with two sets of rewards. Instead of doing that because they're pushing the launch of Jumpstart, now we're going to get an one August season, a single August season, and it's going to have twice the rewards. So they're not taking away anything, they're just not giving us access to the new cards until later in the month. So it was going to be... Um, one rank season for half the month and then everyone would you know get all the jumpstart cards and then we'd start a whole new rank season with all the new stuff and they're pushing the rank so or they're pushing the the launch of jumpstart so they're also squishing or extending the ranked season um so they offered or what the, the plan was, we would get twice the rewards in August we, because we would be playing two seasons. But now, they're giving every rank twice the rewards instead. And as they say here, it's a good time to finish with a mythic ranking. Yeah, right. Though the season won't end until August 24th, we're also standing by our decision that the first 500 players to reach Mythic by 7am on the 10th will receive invitations to participate in the October 9th to 10th Qualifier Weekend. The August 2021 rank season will then continue as normal, with the top 1200 Mythic rank players at the end of the season receiving an invitation as well. And there's a link to an article over on magic.gg that kind of explains more of the ranked pro play stuff. Uh, so summary of ranked play seasons, premier historic dress, first entry on us. Oh. Given the additional time until Jumpstart Historic Horizons arrives, we're also adding a historic theme premier drafts with a twist to help hold you over until Jumpstart Historic Horizons release. 
The first time players join each of these drafts, we will waive the entry fee. The premier drafts will run for about five days before changing to the next. Here are the sets making a return. So they're doing an Amonkhet premier draft, a Kaladesh premier draft, and an Ikoria premier draft. And every time you join one of those for the first time, uh, you won't have to pay anything. So everyone gets a free draft, which also means that you get a free deck. Because whenever you build a draft deck, you get to keep that deck. So really cool. Even if you're not into draft or drafting, this is a really cool thing to take part of because you get a free deck. If you take part in all three, you get three full free decks. Do note that uh, Ikora, Ikoria, Kaladesh, and Amonkhet are not standard. Uh, Ikoria is right now, but it won't be in September. So all of these decks will be good for your historic draft, for your historic ranks, um, historic events, blah, 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 having fun with what have you. They will not be standard as of September. Complete summary of dates, uh, blah, blah, blah. Excitement awaits. So that's the news. Uh, what does this change? Not a whole lot. Um, it's really exciting that we are getting double rewards for ranked seasons in August. It's really exciting that the team behind Magic Arena is willing to admit that they are not ready to push something out. It's not very often that Wizards has an opportunity to hold out and wait until something is better before releasing it. And updates to Arena, the way developing video games works, they're is a lot of benefit in holding on to a game until it's better. And so that's not a downside. The only, I suppose the only downside would be that if you are looking forward to Innistrad Midnight Hunt and you want to be inundated with werewolves come September 16th, uh, you will have to share some of that space with the Jumpstart Historic Horizons set and the Jumpstart events that go along with it because there's going to be a lot more overlap there than there was originally intended. Otherwise, we just have to wait a little bit longer and it's not that longer, it's two weeks longer for the new cards and some of these new mechanics that we talked about uh, last weekend. And I will put another link in the description of this video to the Jumpstart Historic Horizons overview and where I talk about all the new to magic cards coming in that set and even pick out my top four cards to be excited about. It's a personal preference, but uh, yeah, if you want to check that out, I will put a link in the description of this video and go say hello or let me know in the comments of that video which are your favorite and most anticipated cards coming in that set. I will be right back 